This episode is sponsored by Squarespace. I used Squarespace to build both Basics with Babish and BingingWithBabish.com. On the sites, you'll find recipes, equipment lists, other news, and updates. All beautifully designed, if I do say so myself. Get 10% off your first Squarespace order by visiting squarespace.com slash babish. Hello there, welcome back to another episode of Anime with Alvin. This week we're going to be taking a crack at the Super Sour Burger from Boruto, which can be easily identified by the fact that it has many slices of what seems to be raw lemon in it. Thought I'd be curious to see how it tastes, so let's give this a shot. And with all burgers, this starts with toasting your buns. Some brioche buns on the stove until they've gotten a nice toast a few minutes or so, and then we come with six ounces of ground beef. 80-20 beef formed into a large patty and cooked until a hard sear has formed on one side, seasoning with just simply salt and pepper. Once both sides are looking good, we're gonna go over and look at our toppings. The burger seems to have a yellow sauce on it, which I'm gonna guess is some sort of mustard mayo situation, which I'm gonna make by putting a heavy glug of mayo with a splash of mustard and just mixing them together. For the lemons, I'm going to thinly slice an entire lemon including the rind. And to assemble, we're going to start with our bottom bun, and lay our patty on top, carefully and delicately arrange as many slices as we can fit on this thing, followed with some fancy looking lettuce, and then spread our mustard mayo on the top bun, giving that a nice squish. Honestly, I gotta say this looks pretty good. Give this a nice cut down the middle and admire that beautiful cross section of many many lemon slices. Alright, here goes nothing, let's give this a taste. At first, the sourness doesn't really kick in, but just like a delayed time bomb once all the beef and nice burger flavors go away there is nothing but a wave of acidity to hit you in the face to be fair though this is a super sour burger but i think we can make this a little bit better by doing a few things differently one of the things that takes a burger to the next level in my opinion is making your own ground meat i have here roughly two pounds of boneless short ribs and i'm just going to cut them into chunks before putting them onto a little tray lined with parchment paper and sent to the freezer to par freeze for about 20 minutes you might have seen burger buns made from scratch many times on this channel already, so we're going to speed through it a little quickly. In a stand mixer, I'm adding 250 grams of bread flour, 3.5 grams of dry instant yeast, and 20 grams of just granulated sugar. I'm adding in 50 grams of warm milk, 100 grams of warm water, and a teaspoon of lemon oil, which will hopefully give this bun a little bit more of a lemon flavor itself. After adding 5 grams of kosher salt, I'm using the dough hook attachment and just combining this mixture on medium low speed until it's homogenous. Once realizing that this bowl is actually a little bit too big, we're going to move this into a smaller mixer that the dough hook can do more work in. Since we're going to make a brioche style bun, I'm now going to add a lot of butter, 40 grams to be exact, but soft. One little cube at a time, waiting for it to be incorporated, and then adding another cube in just until all the butter has been put in. Now we increase the speed to medium high and mix the dough until super smooth, which takes about 6 to 8 minutes or so for this kind of recipe. Once the dough is ready, this goes onto a large grease bowl covered with some saran wrap and left proof for about an hour. It's been about 20 minutes at this point, so we're going to check on our beef and make sure that they're not completely frozen through, but enough to be put into a food processor and pulsed until this becomes nice and pebbly. I prefer this method over the meat grinder attachment if you have one, just because it's a little bit easier and honestly gives you better and cleaner results. It's also great if you don't have a meat grinder attachment. Once our ground beef has been homemade, we're going to set this aside and move on. Instead of just raw lemon slices, Kendall came up with this idea of making a lemon relish. Sounds pretty fun. So in a medium pot over medium heat. I'm combining one third cup of granulated sugar, a fourth cup of white wine vinegar, and a half cup of water. Once this is brought to a boil, we're stirring this in just until the sugar has dissolved. Then I'm going to take two preserved lemons that we got at the store, take out the inside, and chop them into little strips. These strips go into our mixture, along with half a teaspoon of celery seed, half a teaspoon of ground mustard, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. We're going to make a cornstarch slurry with one tablespoon of water and one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch, adding that in until this starts to thicken. Now that our bun dough has proof, we're going to take this out and divide this in half so we get two big buns for two attempts at making this burger. These get shaped into perfect little balls, actually not so little, covered with saran wrap and proofed for another 45 minutes before they are ready to bake. Now that our buns have grown up a little bit, we're going to make a simple egg wash with one egg, one egg yolk, a quarter teaspoon of lemon oil, and a pinch of salt, mixing it up and brushing it over our buns before baking them at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes 
just until they're golden. While our buns are in our oven, instead of a mustard mayo, how about a lemon aioli for that yellow looking burger sauce in anime? Into one of those magic bullet blender looking things. I'm throwing in two egg yolks in. I'm going to grate three garlic cloves, the zest of one lemon, teaspoon of kosher salt, a tablespoon of lemon juice, and slowly stream in three quarters cup of a neutral vegetable oil while using the immersion blender attachment. This helps emulsify the thing so that everybody gets to become one big friend. And it's really cool to watch this clear liquid turn into a thick, fluffy aioli. Our beautiful buns have returned from their long journey in the oven, and now they look golden and amazing. But they still need one last step, a good toast. So we're going to cut these in half, admire the cross section just for a little bit, before going to the stove and toasting each half of each bun in one tablespoon of butter each. Since these buns are on the larger side, I like to lower the heat and give them a little bit longer to toast, almost around 10 minutes or so on a very, very, very low heat. Once our buns are toasted, we're going to divide our ground beef mixture into two patties. Pretty large ones, actually, probably eight ounces or so. These get a hard sear in a cast iron skillet with just a little bit of neutral oil on both sides, seasoning again with just salt and pepper. These aren't smash burgers, more of a pub style burger that needs to be cooked like a steak, so a hard sear for about two to three minutes per side should do it. Oh, hey, fire. I like that. That's pretty cool. While our patties rest, we're going to go ahead and prepare the rest of our condiments. Again, I'm slicing up a lemon, but this time only into half slices, crescent moons, as thin as I possibly can. Our toasted lemon bun goes down first, followed by a five minute rested juicy patty right on top. And then two tablespoons of our cooled lemon relish, adorned afterwards with a few half slices of lemon, not too many this time, followed by another wave of fancy lettuce. And then onto the top bun goes a heaping spoonful of our lemon aioli. Once we put that nicely on top, and give it a good squish, I present to you our more homemade version of the Super Sour Burger from Boruto. This one does look a little less intimidating as there are not lemon slices jutting out from all 360 degrees. So let's give this a cross section first, see how we did. That is a good looking burger, still a little pink in the middle and clearly very juicy. How does this stack up compared to the OG version? Kendall now joins us to help me finish the other half. Cheers Kendall. I think we were both pleasantly surprised with how we did. It actually goes quite well with the juicy fatty burger and the nice bun. If this was simply called lemon burger on a menu at a restaurant, I would not bat an eye. And even without cheese, this burger is still quite delicious. And a good thing we had a whole second burger we could assemble because Steve was very hungry at this point and definitely finished the whole thing. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's episode. They've been a great partner in supporting the Babish Culinary Universe and bringing my websites to life. From websites to online stores to domains and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for you to build your online presence. They also have SEO tools so that your site is getting found and searched by more people more often. If you want to try it for yourself, you can start your free trial today by visiting squarespace.com babish to get 10% off your first purchase.